judge has set a Wednesday deadline for the lawyers to object to Fotis Dulos' request to dismiss a motion from his mother-in-law seeking custody of his children. His mother-in-law, Gloria Farber, who is Jennifer Dulos' mother, has been caring for the five children, ages 8 to 13, at her Manhattan apartment since Jennifer Dulos' disappearance May 24, 2019. Jennifer and Fotis Dulos have been involved in a contentious two-year divorce that mostly centered on custody of their children. Fotis has been banned from contacting his kids apart on the condition of his release of the $500,000 bond. His attorneys have also filed a motion to suspend the divorce proceedings since Jennifer is unable to participate. Gloria Farber is seeking to intervene in a divorce case to obtain 10 Temporary custody of the children. A hearing on Gloria's motion was held June 11th, during which Botus declined to testify, citing his Fifth Amendment rights against self incrimination. Two weeks later, Another hearing in the case, Judge Donna Nelson Heller said she hoped to issue a ruling soon on Gloria Farber's request. On the same day, Fotis uh, Dulos' lawyer filed a motion to dismiss Gloria Farber's request to intervene. The judge issued an order last week setting a deadline of Wednesday for any objections to the motions to dismiss. The judge said Farber's standing is an issue to be determined in ruling on the motion to intervene. Fotis is also in a legal battle with Farber over funds used for his business that she said were never repaid. Fotis has hired a new attorney to represent him in those civil lawsuits after his previous lawyers quit soon after he was arrested. West Hartford attorney William Murray declined to comment Monday when asked about being hired to represent Fotis, who has been charged with tampering with evidence and hindering prosecution in Jennifer's disappearance. The lawsuit claims that Fotis owes Gloria Farber and her late husband's estate $2.5 million from his business dealings with his company, The Four Group. Court papers indicate that Fotis was using money borrowed from his in-laws, Hillard and Gloria Farber, to develop high-end homes. Fotis then sold the homes and repaid his wife's family from the profits, court documents said. In the lawsuit filed in civil court in Hartford, attorneys for Gloria Farber contend that Fotis stopped paying the family back after Jennifer filed for divorce in 2017.